your Massachusetts real estate market update for the month of November 2022. So in this video, we're going to go over the Massachusetts real estate market data for the month of November for our single families as well as condos and even multi families. Um, it's going to be some great data, a lot of really interesting things going on. Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb. I'm a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent that sold more than a thousand homes. Should you have any questions about the Massachusetts real estate market, then I would love to be that resource for you. So let's dig into that single family data. In November of 2022, we saw 3,352 single family homes close for an average sales price of $687,000. Now this represents a 2.16% month over month increase in the average sales price. Meanwhile, we saw a 5.86% year over year increase in the month of November for that average sales price. Now the amount of units, actually the sales for the month of November were down by 30.76% year over year. So that's the data. Let's take a look at what it all means. Now, the number of units is down as we expected. Uh, From this graph here, you can really get a feel for the year over year comparison. And you can also see from this graph that this means we have had 17 months of year over year declines. Now with this month's year over year decline eclipsing the shock that we actually saw um, because of COVID in May of 2022. So that's the big takeaway that I saw there from the amount of units sold um, when I look at it and like that. That's the one that's kind of having me scratch my head a little bit and really giving me that caution flag of of what I want to keep my eye on as we move forward. Frankly, there isn't a whole lot of great news from the unit side, except that with the decrease in the amount of units sold, we haven't seen a huge surge of inventory. Sellers, they're just not putting their houses on the market. People that that don't need to sell, well, they aren't. And that right there is some really great news. And this is actually what's continuing to cause a market imbalance in favor of sellers. So with the amount of sales down so much, we must be in a lot of trouble, right? Hmm, not so fast. Look at this graph. Yes, sales are down, but we're about in line with the sales numbers that we saw back in 2014. That's not bad. 2014 was a great year. The average home price in Massachusetts actually increased by 5.36% in 2014. I'll take that every single year. We sold 45,000 units in 2014. To put this all in perspective, we sold 35,000 units in 2008. So that's a lot of units. So 2014 numbers, I'm okay with that. So let's talk appreciation. Year to date, we've seen appreciation rate of 9.43% for the state of Massachusetts. Yes, we are off our 2021 and 2020 gains, but this year's still going to be a really great year, a great showing of a year. But take a look at our year-over-year price gains for each month in 2022. You can see the trend line decreasing, but that decrease isn't a sign of a crash. So far, it's been leading to a uh, rather soft landing, to take the words from the Fed chairman. So if you're like me, it's been pretty hard to escape all the price decreasing narratives that I've seen in all the articles after articles. Oh, you don't believe me? Well, here are some. Now, I could be like all of these people and claim that the same thing, that home prices are down. Well, I could say that before that November data, of course. Now, from our yearly pricing peak, which actually happens, seems to happen pretty much every single June, and to October, prices in Massachusetts actually were down 15% in 2022. When not put into context, that's some pretty damning data. I mean, almost really scary, right? But notice how we had a pickup in the average sales price in November. Now let's take a look at 2022 versus 2021 comparison. Well, I'll be... Prices actually decreased from June to October in 2021 as well. They actually decreased to the amount of 10% last year during that same exact time period. And come to think about it, last year I didn't see any articles about an impending real estate boom. Hmm, I wonder why that could be. And look at that. They also rebounded in November 
just like we saw this year. Very interesting yet again. Again, there's no doubt that the trend line for pricing is going down. I, I am, Nobody is going to say that it isn't. But it's not the apocalypse like we're seeing in other parts of the country that have had an overbuilding or a large percentage of hedge fund buyers that have been buying in the market and just overnight stopped buying. So let's jump into that condo market. But first, if you're lucky hearing about Massachusetts real estate data, then please consider subscribing and please hit that like button. It just makes a huge difference to the YouTube gods. In the condo market in November of 2022, we saw 1,349 uh, condos closed. Now the average sales price was six hundred and twenty thousand dollars. This re represents a point seven nine percent month over month increase in the average sales price, and then an eight point oh five percent year over year average increase uh, in the average sales price for condos in the state of Massachusetts. Now we saw the number of unit sales actually go down by thirty two point three eight percent year over year in the condo market. Now we expect to see the number of units decline in the condo market, as you can see here from this graph. But when we what we can see here is that when we compare to 2022 versus 2021, that's 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 kind of normal. Um, what peaks my worrying eyes though is that there was no rebound in the amount of sales in November like we saw last year, and is ultimately what we see in the single family market. So that's really what I want to keep my eye on as we continue to move forward because it's ultimately going to be a really big question about the stability of this condo market in the state of Massachusetts. We've actually now seen 12 months of year over year unit sales decreases in a row. Now, the question at this point really just turns to 2023 and what is going to happen with the sales levels next year? Nobody knows. I mean, there's the questions of what's going to happen with the interest rates, right? Most banks are predicting that they're going to go down. There's the question of what's going to happen with the economy. Is there going to be a recession? If there is going to be a recession, how bad of a recession is it going to be? There's a lot of conflicting opinions in both ways. Now, the average sales price has been just all over the place. It's been no secret that the condo market is definitely the weakest of all the markets in the state of Massachusetts. But the condo market has been really beaten up uh, last year, or I should say over COVID. And then last year was the year that kind of cleaned up the mess that COVID created, which kind of creates a mess of the data when you look at some year over year comparisons. But we're still going to do it. We're still going to take a look at it because we saw the condo market pricing peak in June and decreased pretty significantly until September, as you can see in this graph. Now, price Prices actually dropped 15% this time this year. So from June to September, prices went down 15%. And then they rebounded in October and continued to go up in November, which is a really, really great sign. So this is something that we want to continue to keep our eyes on. Now, as you can see from the year over year, sales price levels have actually been decreasing, just like we saw in the single family market. And if we make a trend line, then we just, just like we did in the single family market, it doesn't look like a crash. It looks like another soft landing, which is a really great thing for Massachusetts homeowners as well as Massachusetts home buyers. So onto that multifamily market. In November of 2022, we saw 512 multifamily properties close for an average sales price of $734,000. This represents a 6.86% month over month increase in that average sales price and a 9.76% year over year increase in that average sales price. Now we saw the number of units sold actually go down by 33.94% year over year. That was a pretty astounding number. The multifamily market has been strong from a pricing standpoint in 2022, but it could be facing some really big headwinds in 2023. Now, currently starting to see rental rate growth slow in some markets around the country, including Massachusetts. And in some markets, you're actually starting to see rental rates actually start to decline. Now, couple this with higher interest rates, and it really starts to begin to squeeze investors and their expected, as well as their needed returns. Now, investors, they don't buy the a house because it's pretty. No, that's not why they're buying an investment property. That's why not. They're, that's why they're not buying a multifamily property, right? They buy these things because the numbers work and the return actually beats the return that they could get in another asset class. So a decrease in interest rates, which everybody is talking about, seems to be talking about at least, could really help soften the blow of slowing rental rate growth. Now, looking at the year-over-year -year unit comparison, sales have been off since June. Even with these sales being off, 
inventory though has not increased. It seems that just like in the single family market, buyers have left the market, but at the same time, new sellers aren't coming to the market. Now looking at a year over year analysis for the average price shows a little bit of a different story. Since April, price gains in the multifamily market, well, they've been relatively steady. Now, do you want to talk about your own personal real estate needs or goals? My information is in the description below. I always love chatting about real estate. This is my passion. Whether you're looking to buy in the next nine or 90 days, it doesn't really matter. I would love to chat with you and just get a feeling for what you're looking for and start you know, going over the market and start looking in the marketplace for you and getting an idea of, of what's out there and how we can accomplish those goals. Like I said, I just, I love doing this. This is a passion of mine. I love working with folks just like yourself. Any questions, comments, or concerns about any of the data in the vi video, make sure you throw them in the comments section below. You can take the time to watch the video. So I'm always going to take the time to answer your comments, questions, or concerns. Um, keep in mind that an informed person, they're a powerful person. So until next time.